This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice joined state health officials to update West Virginians on several precautionary measures being taken in efforts to protect the public from the novel coronavirus disease. Our elderly could be the most susceptible by far. People that are in, ex in excess of 60 years of age need to be concerned. They need not to just go and be in big gatherings. They need to watch their health and everything that they're exposed to in every way. The governor announced a statewide closure of schools as a precaution, a ban on outside of state travel for state employees, as well as the cancellation of the WV SSAC boys and girls state basketball tournaments. When those kids have worked really hard all year long, I surely know what our state basketball tournament means to us. But Bernie Dolan is right there in the back, and I've met with Bernie, and I'm instructing Bernie that at the end of the session we're playing right now, shut it down. Additional information on the disease can be found by visiting coronavirus.wv.gov. The governor also signed a bill creating the West Virginia Impact Fund, which will help attract major economic development projects and bring countless jobs to the Mountain State. Also this week, on the last day of the 2020 legislative session, Governor Justice addressed members of the House and Senate, congratulating them on passing a budget with funding for all of the elements of the governor's Family First initiative. And the Department of Transportation provided a progress update on the massive I-70 Bridges project in Wheeling. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.